<laughs> so I'm here with, with John Matthews. Um, John, it's really nice to see you again. Um, there's a couple of, you, you've been interviewed a couple of times by the Water Keep. Um, but you've, you've, just, you've just moved moved jobs. That's right, yes. Uh, about six weeks ago, I, I left uh, my position working on freshwater and climate change uh, with the World Wildlife Fund, WWF. And last Friday, I started a new position as a director of freshwater climate change at Conservation International. Great. So, what are you going to be doing? Well, a big part of what I work on right now is uh, managing the secretariat of a new organization that I helped start. And that organization is called the Global Water Adaptation Action Alliance, GWAAA. And uh, it, it's a group that CI, along with the World Bank, uh, uh, organized a, a group of development banks and aid agencies, um, some governments, and a lot of nonprofits and NGOs. And what's what's it designed to do? It's a it's actually about I think some of the most important work of this century, which is how do you think about sustainable development and climate change, and especially through the lens of water, and and really it I I think the best way to explain it is how do you you get the people that finance uh, development work, uh, who design the infrastructure, the engineers and the people that actually operate it, uh, and then the people that really care about sustainability and ecosystems and science uh, to, to come together and develop a kind of joint framework for how to, how to do uh, uh, sustainable development in this century. So, well, I mean, as a, as a bit of a cynic on on conferences, for example, right? that sounds like it could involve a hell of a lot of meetings. <laughs> uh, so far, uh, we our first meeting was last September, uh, and six months later, I think we've spent uh, only about four or five hours in meetings. So, so what do you, I mean? You know, we obviously we're talking on video. You were showing me your v Vimeo video video channel yesterday with sort of all sorts of content on it. Yeah, how, how is technology changing the way that these kind of organizations can start to move fast? Uh, communications is really critical. Uh, and one of the things that I, uh, I find is that uh, you really need to, to get cameras and, and uh, the voices of people actually out in the field by the people that really understand and know the content. Um, so I think it's a kind of democratization, actually, of, of information. So, for instance, I was in uh, Tibet on the Tibetan Plateau uh, last summer, and you know we didn't, we couldn't afford to send a communicator uh, to produce a film to sort of tell the story about what what we were seeing and the climate change impacts there in the plateau. So. Uh, I just brought my camera and, and tried to put something sim simple and easy uh, together myself. Well, because we've been really interested, you know, with Waterkeeper, with ACFO, it's what, what happens when you actually just give, get, get people using filming what they're doing. It's not like the, the towing the expensive crew. Exactly. Around. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it basically was free for me to do it. It's not National Geographic quality, but uh, on the other hand, it, it, it is fast. I was able to put something together relatively uh, simply and easily and get it out. So what holds a lot of people back from doing this? That's a good question. Uh, I think that there's a, that there is some performance anxiety that, that people feel uh, that there maybe they have some kind of technical uh, a fear. I think that there's so sometimes there's also a reluctance on the part of the kind of professional communication staff to sort of endorse that this kind of uh, spreading out. Um, so you people have they, they feel like they need to spend ten or twenty or fifty thousand dollars on some project that unfortunately may take a year or two to actually yeah. put together into a you know seven minute YouTube video. Great. Well, it's going to be great to follow your work and great to see you again. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. thanks. Thanks, Mark.